Hi, I'm Simon from Sailing Brittigan and we help people become sailing cruisers. So, as you can see our surrounding has changed from Sandy Island. We were down there and Covid was getting a lot worse. There was a, starting to get food shortages and we were having a look and suddenly there was a bit of a weather window where we could go up to St Martin. Hi, uh, well, so we've just left um, Grenada and Carrier Coop. We're heading to St Martin. Uh, there's not a lot of wind at the moment, but there's a bit of wind going to be picking up later on. So we're just motoring out. It is seven o'clock. It should take us about two to three days. So we're looking forward to it. Look at that moon, almost full. Time for coffee? Oh yeah. So 8.30 in the evening, <laughs> just setting up. And we're both tired. <laughs> it's uh, nine o'clock. Kim's going to sleep over there. We've uh, got the sails out. Yeah, we're doing incredible. It's, we're doing over eight knots in 12 knots of wind, 13 knots of wind. But the sea is flat calm. It's just a beautiful sail. And uh, we've got Mahini and Moonstone um, coming up behind us. They're both cats and one of them's wanted to race us for a long time. Fine. Sorry. Sorry, they're going behind. <laughs> Britikin's eating cats again. So it's still early days. So. It's still early. We're only we're only three hours into it. I'm sure there'll be some excuses coming because if I lost them, I'd certainly have a few excuses. <laughs> just gone midnight, and we're just coming up to Saint Vincent now. The wind's picked up a little bit. Uh, we're doing high eights now. Uh -huh. But so's Moonstone. Ooh, they're sort of keeping up with us now. We were going away from them and they're keeping up. Well done, Andy. And Mahini is going back a little bit, but they're a slower cat, but uh, they're doing great as well. So it's a fantastic sail. It is just brilliant. We're going really fast and it's calm. It's just beautiful sailing much better than i thought it was going to be so uh, we're just coming alongside st vincent now and i think that's going to affect our wind so hopefully we won't drop too much as you can see we've run out of wind so <sighs> been waiting about five ten minutes the sails are starting to flap so I'm going to have to put the engine on which i'm really disappointed about but we thought this might happen because just over there, you can see those lights. That's St. Vincent. Okay, so it's 2.40 in the morning and we've just gotten to the top of St. Vincent. Um, passing the volcano, it was really stinky. It smells like sulfur um, and it looks hazy. Um, so be would have been nice to see it during the day to see what it looks like. But uh, we got a beautiful moon out um, and we're doing nine knots right now. We got 17 knots of wind and we're doing nine we're in between the channel between st vincent and st lucia so the waves get a little bit bigger and the wind gets a little stronger so uh yeah we're we're flying along probably a little bit too fast <laughs> 20 past five in the morning um and we're coming up to st lucia uh we're gonna duck in here because there's um a big storm potentially building up and it's going to get really really close to St Martin so we've, we've had some Wi-Fi and it's 98 L and it looks like it's going to be big and we'll just wait out for a week or so here and let that storm pass and see if there's anything else come in and hopefully it's not and then we'll finish the rest of our journey up so it's not what we wanted but uh, Hey, that's part of sailing, isn't it? So, and the cats are still behind us. Hey, making some coffee again. Sienna's asleep in her back room. What time is it? It's uh, 5.30. 5.30? See. <laughs> she always sleeps so good. But we haven't gotten much sleep, have we? No, not really. <laughs> that's okay though, it's been yeah. nice. Yeah. I'm just having one of my oatmeal banana pancakes with some syrup. I made a bunch of these a while ago and froze them, so I'm going to see if they taste okay. 
being frozen than defrosted and eaten. Yeah. So that's the moon. Then over there, the sun's coming up. So we've had a, a full moon all night, haven't we? Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good, So we're behind St. Lucia on the lee of uh, St. Lucia now and the wind has died so engine's on. So we just dropped the main and Simon's gonna go up and fold it. Got nothing else to do, right? <laughs> it's flat calm. Yeah, it's flat calm and we're a bit too early so we're just kind of idling and waiting until we can get into the marina. We've got over there, we've got Mohini and we've got Moonstone right behind us there. Okay, so here we are in one of our most favorite places to be, uh, Marigo Bay in uh, St. Lucia. We got here in, it's 8.30, we're already on a ball and they're really on the ball here. Apparently there's a lady coming out to see us in about an hour and a half. So we're gonna wait for um, them to call us and we just dinghy in, go and get our tests, come back on the boat and wait for the results. Fingers crossed, we'll be off maybe tomorrow. Yes. When we left Grenada, we didn't need a PCR test to get into St. Martin, but you need one to come into St. Lucia. So we arranged all that nice and early and they stuck us on the mooring balls here and we had to stay on there. Once we got the PCR test, we had to wait until we got the all clear. None of us had had uh, COVID or any chance of COVID on our, on our uh, tests. So we've, we've all been left, let in. So we're here at the moment. We're just letting Sam do its thing. Luckily, it's moved further out and going further north. So fingers crossed for the northern part of the Caribbean that it keeps on that track. This is where we're at right as this present moment. We are just about here and there's Sam. And what's going to happen, I'll move it on a couple of days. It starts coming across. And have you noticed it started to move north? And there we go. But look how close it's getting. So that's where we, that's St. Martin right there. And it's so close. They're gonna get a lot of rain, a lot of, lot, quite a lot of wind actually there. But luckily they're on the good side. Remember, this is the bad side of a hurricane. And this is the better side of the hurricane. So. Where are we? Where are we? We are right down there. So that's the reason why we're not going to, that's why we came and ducked in here and not carried on going up to St. Martin. So we're gonna wait here for a couple of days in this beautiful five-star luxury um, complex here. And this is a hotel. There's a swimming pool here. There's a, another swimming pool up there. There's a spa over there. And you can do it by staying on the, on the mooring balls here, which are $25. Yes, 25 US dollars to stay there. And you get to use all this. And it is beautiful. What are we going to do next? We are going to sit here and wait. Um, it is Friday today, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. It's going to be hitting the north part of the area where we want to be going. So we're going to wait and see how that goes. Also, 
we want to make sure there's nothing else coming across. There is a little disturbance, but it's got a very low chance of turning into something. So fingers crossed with that. If that doesn't come up, we're then going to go and uh, we're going to potentially go to Antigua actually, because we need to do all our safety equipment. We were hoping to do that down in Grenada, but it didn't work out. So the, the other best place is seagulls in Antigua. I've just called them up this morning and uh, they can happily take us in, but we just need to know, get the dates, times to come in. So that's where we're planning on going next. Get, once we've got all that uh, sorted out, we're gonna head up to St. Martin and we love it up there. Okay, so that's it for this update. I'm gonna go for a swim and have a beer. See you soon, bye.